Well, it's Sunday, April 11th, and I'm out here hunting my old high school. It was built in the late 70s, but uh, we still carried some silver change in our pockets back then, so let's see what we can do. Well, I switched to uh, an old Chicago park. I went ahead and took the drive, and I've hunted this park, I don't know, at least half a dozen of my videos, so hopefully I can pull out some wheats and uh, old nickels. All right, I didn't turn the camera on when I found them, but I did find two Wheaties in the 50s. And now I dug a 7-inch signal, and it's an 1895 Indian. So cool, I'll clean that up and show you when I get home. All right, my third Indian this year. All right, I just, <clears throat> I just covered the hole up there. And over here, about two foot away, I'm getting a possible... Indian head signal about six inches. Let me dig it up and see what it is. Alright, it showed it about six inches down. I lifted the plug and guess what's at the bottom of the plug here? You'll be able to read the date on that. I can't. Uh, 19 old something, I believe. Alright, cool. <clears throat> Here's an unusual find at about almost eight inches. Found a hem weight. An old M weight, lead. Okay, well, I was hoping it was an Indian, but I've never found one of those before, so cool. Well, that about eight inches. Got my third Indian, 1900 this time. That's a first time in a long while I've got more than one or two Indians in a day. Fantastic. All right, I just dug that Indian right here, and I put over. I got a, what I thought was a deep nickel signal. Seems like it is, so let me get to see what that is. Hope it's a, hope it's a nickel. Nope, it's a key. An old key. <laughs> okay, that's cool enough. All right, eight inches must be the magic number. So I just got to pull the buffalo nickel 1921 out of this hole. <laughs> All right, no silver, but I'm still happy with the what I got. All right, this must be my day for old coins, because at about seven and a half inches, I found an 1888 Indian head. It's my fourth one of the day. Feel privileged. All right. <clears throat> All right. All I've been doing is digging iffy signals and. It's been working out for me because at about eight inches again, I got a 1906 Indian head scent with full liberty. So cool, that's five for a day. Man, it's been a long time since I dug five Indians. It's paying off digging those iffy signals. I've got, all right, I've got a six inch signal or seven inch. Showing quarter. I'm hoping it's silver. Nope, fooled by a piece of trash. Oh well. Well, at the end of the day, eight hours hunt. I got a hem weight, uh, 261 in clad, a couple of old keys, a 57 Jefferson, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Wheaties. Ranging from 56, I've got them in order, through 1912, with a 1921 Buffalo in there. Also got a 1906, 1902, 1900, 1895, and 1888. No silver, but I'm happy with all the old coinage. Thanks for coming along again. Hope you join me again, ne again next time. Okay, not quite through yet. Tuesday's hunt, April 13th. I got uh, four memorials. One clad dime. I was digging printing dime signals four inches and over. 
I was digging all quarter signals and I got uh, nine clay quarters. I got two firsts for the year. My first clad half dollar in 1977 and a 2000 D Sacagawea dollar. Also found one Weedy in 1948 and I broke my silver streak or non silver streak. Got a 1958 D Rosie. So thanks again for watching.